hello everyone and welcome to my channel my name is sherry turquoise and today i am redoing the books that influence my write-in tag uh fortunately the first one i accidentally deleted before i could get it up onto the computer to edit and save it onto the memory stick so this is round two of it uh let's get started when did you start writing Oh, I will leave all the questions down below as well. Uh, when did I start writing? I start writing in roughly grade 7. I just randomly picked up a notebook that my grandparents got me and a pen and I started writing. And I fell in love with it. What genres and length of books did you seem to read the most? Uh, back then I read mostly... Um, uh, sci-fi, horror, and some fantasy. Now I read mostly any type of genres. Uh, some, most of my reads lately are horror, whether they're supernatural or not. Fantasy and, yeah, mostly those two genres at this moment. Question number three. What are three or four, three or five books that you think have inspired your writing? Briefly mention each of the books and read the summaries or summarize them yourself. Um, I will leave all the links down below too to the creator and everyone else that has done this writing tag. Uh, so books I think that have influenced my writing is Kim Harrison, Dead Witch Walkin. Dead Witch Walking is about Rachel Morgan surviving her death sentence when she has quit the IS. That's basically as a good summary as I can give it because otherwise I would be giving up too many spoilers. Uh, Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I'm going to read it back to you because this book is a little too complicated to summarize. In A Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin has created a genuine masterpiece bringing together the best the, the best the genre has to offer. Mystery, intrigue, and romance and adventure fill the pages of the first volume in an epic series sure to delight fantasy fans everywhere. In a land where summers can last decades and winters a lifetime, trouble is brewing, the cold is returning, and in the frozen ways to the north of Winterfell, sinister and supernatural forces are massing beyond the kingdom's protective wall. At the center of the conflict lie the Starks of Winterfell, a family as harsh and ungilded as the land they were born to. Sleeping from a land of brutal cold to a distant summertime kingdom of Epicurine Plenty. Here is a tale of lords and ladies, soldiers and sorcerers, assassins and bastards who come together in a time of grim omens. A amid plots and counterplots, tragedy and betrayal, victory and terror, and fate of the Starks, their allies and their enemies hangs. Perilously in the ba in the balance, as each endeavors to win that deadliest of conflicts, the Game of Thrones. So basically, the Stark family are trying to survive, and because they were born and raised in the winter area, they are now trying to survive down south, and it sounds like it goes not so well. Another book that has influenced my writing is Stephen King. Um, I just finished Carrie not that long ago. And Carrie is about a little girl, well not really so little, a teenage girl. That is 16 years old that develops psychic abilities and who has a mother that is extremely religious and thinks basically almost everything on the planet is a sin. 
And while she has these psychic abilities, she tries to control them, but at some point, she tries to do something normal and something goes terribly wrong. And my final book is Transformers by Alan Dead Foster. Uh, Transformers is the first book of a series. And this is about Autobots and Decepticons and a war and it has come down to Earth. And now they are looking for the Allspark to go save Cybertron or to destroy it. Question number four. Talk about what you are writing now, whether it's your current VIP or the genre you write in general. So right now I am currently working on the horror dark fantasy novel. I'm working on the... Coming up for a title for it and then I'm going to start the second draft. While well, my other project is a dark fantasy uh, novel. And that is uh, being written during Camp NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo. Both books are connected but not connected at the exact same time. So the horror dark fantasy is about Tacey who is a supernatural woman who is trying to save each and every single round because they are dying and she also needs to stop a war from happening on earth and she also needs to stop a current war that is happening between two supernatural organizations while that is taking place she realizes she needs his help and goes gets help but the question comes down to can Tacey stop a war and save the rounds and stop another war from coming and prevent the humans from finding out. As for the dark fantasy novel, that is about the Spirit Dragons, which is the prequel to the, or to the Spirit Dragon series, but it's also book one of the Life of the Supernatural series. So this book is about the spirit dragons, how they were created, and how they create each and every single round, and what goes terribly wrong in the process. Uh, number five, how each of the books you mentioned have influenced your writing and the current book you're, you're writing. So Transformers is more the dark fantasy book section project. This book influenced my writing with war and battle and how even a simple thing could go wrong. Carrie by Stephen King is more for the scaring part and that is for the horror dark fantasy. This book influenced my writing on the scaring people and how a psychological scare can even be as scary as a physical one. Game of Thrones. This is for both projects. This pro this book helped me with the how you can fit in sorcerers, wizards, warlocks, all the magic stuff, and dragons and still have people that are still human inside the book as well but whoever is stern well Kim Harrison's writing influenced my writing with the supernaturals and humans can live under the same city but not know each other and at the exact same time know each other Uh, six, tag someone else. So I'm tagging everyone who is willing to do this video and whoever is watching. There is no pressure on this tag. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. If you do, that's also fine as well. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to do this tag. And I'll definitely leave a link for the uh, creator so that way you can go watch their video as well. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. To click the like button. Leave a comment down below. And click that bell icon to get notified of all my posts. Because during normal months, I try to do 
one load a week and I try to do a live stream once a week and the month before Camp NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo I post two videos a week and two live streams a week and during Camp NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo I post videos five to six days a week and I try to do a live stream once a week as well and during readathons I post videos every single day until the readathon is done and that is all oh and follow me on Tumblr, Twitter Instagram and Pinterest. Links are down below. And remember, stay true to yourself and stay unique. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.